In this video, we are going to discuss about automatic test pattern generation. The first topic is D calculus or D algorithm. So, first let us see about the procedure for doing this D algorithm. The first one is pick a fault from the fault table for a node. Second point select required PCDF for the fault. Third one D drive. Propagate the fault choosing from the D frontier gates. It is also called as forward implication. The last one back propagate to get consistent inputs. If inconsistency is encountered, backtrack and choose the alternative path. So this comes under the path sensation method. So let us consider a circuit. Okay. So if we see you you have um, totally six uh, one two three four five six uh, primary inputs and uh, totally we have one two three four five six six gates and uh, you have two branches. Okay, two branches. So totally you have total faults. I can write uh, uh, total faults okay total faults is equal to this is a formula 2 into primary inputs plus uh, number of gates number of gates plus number of fan out branches so 2 into number of inputs is uh, 6 plus number of gates is 6 plus fan out is 2. So totally you have 28 faults. Okay. So for, the, for this one you have to generate a, a test pattern. So let's see the procedure. Okay. So first step is uh, you have to uh, write the primary inputs from uh, from A to H, A, B, C, E, F, and H, and uh, gates. I can give a name for each gates. For uh, and gate, I am giving uh, giving a G1 as a name. G1, G2, G3, uh, G3, G4, G5, and G6. Okay. So first step is um, you have to identify the fault. So PCDF. So PCDF. Uh, so PCDF of uh, the fault is located at the output of the G1. So G1. So um, the f it is stuck at zero. Okay. It is stuck at zero. So I can write it as uh, one of zero. So one of zero is nothing but uh, D. Okay. One of zero is nothing but G, and zero of one is nothing but D bar okay so in order to get the correct output this is your correct output and this is your uh, faulty output so in order to get the correct output I have to give the value of A and B as equal to 1 1 okay so I have given 1 1 so what is the next step so the next step is um, after finding the fault you have to propagate that fault okay so this is a uh, this is a fault uh, uh, after finding the fault you have to propagate the fault uh, to the output either uh, through this uh, G5 or uh, through G3 G5 or to, through G3 and G6 so first it has to propagate through the uh, G3 ok so I have written DF of G3 so if it is uh, it has to for the 1 of 0 if it has to come to the output of the G3 means so I need to give the other input of the other input of the OR gate as equal to 0 ok if I give 0 only I will get 1 of 0 if I give 1 I will get 1 only so the fault will not propagate so in the next step I have to give the G2 output as equal to 0 0 and this is equal to D right G3 is D so after coming to this stage i have to give the input for the uh, g2 right i have to input i have to give the uh, input for the g2 so i should write it as gf 
so this is back tracing right this is back tracing this is back tracing okay so i have to give the uh, j friend j friend tire value as of g2 right this you have to come uh, once uh, the output is the fault is propagated to the output so first um, uh, this has to choose either this path or this path so i have chosen g5 okay so so next step is d df of g5 df of g5 and g6 it can propagate to either g5 or g6 right okay so next uh, i have to choose either one path i have to choose either g5 or g6 so i have chosen g5 okay so i have chosen g5 so this d I have to propagate to this is d zero okay this has to propagate to, to towards g5 so um, you have to give the value of uh, g4 output is equal to zero then only uh, g5 value will be d so i have given g5 as zero and g4 output as zero okay next um, uh, this uh, for g4 it has to give uh, uh, for g4 uh, the input should be given right so i have added J, uh, jf jf of g2 already is there from here comma g4 okay so I, I have already propagated the fault to the output now this step should be followed back tracing should be followed okay so first uh, let me go for g4 so g4 means if i want to get the output as zero means i should give either um, one as zero one value as zero and another value should be either one or zero so i can give it as x okay so so i given uh, for e i have given as uh, zero i have given as zero and for x uh, for f i have given as x it can be um, anything it, it may be x and this e may be x and f may be zero you can choose either either way after that you have to give the value for g2 g2 if i want to get uh, this is one one right this is already one one and um, uh, so if i want to get zero means i have to give one for c right so i have given one for c one for c so that's it so what happened to this gate this gate i am not propagating anything so i can give x here so this uh, this is not propagating to the g6 so g6 and h is uh, always uh, x so what is the text vector uh, text vector finally uh, finally the text vector is um, text vector is equal to 1110xx this is your text vector so it may be what it means it is either 1100001011 so this is your value of the text vector so totally you have four text vector in order to identify this fault okay thank you